Why don't we shift gears a little bit? We've been on Brutal Hollow for so long, and we just learned the information about how to get below the currents at Giant Steep. So why don't we go to Giant Steep? It's been a long time since we've been there anyway. I don't think we ever really looked around at that place very... in depth. But now we know how to get below. All we gotta do is find a counterclockwise cyclone. Where is Gabriel's camp? While we're in Giant's Deep, I was thinking that we can go visit him too. Here we go. Alright. Here we go. Hmm? Is that the quantum moon? No, don't go behind the... Oh. Hold on. I think that's the quantum moon, right? This is something that doesn't appear all the time. Let me just have a quick look here. Hold on. Yeah? Undershot target. This thing moves fast. No, this is the weird thing. Oh! Oh, so the weird gas clouds are the quantum moon? It doesn't have a solid surface? Or is this some weird quantum thing? Yeah, that's probably the case. Then that means I actually saw the quantum moon in the very beginning one time, because I tried flying through it, but I couldn't land, so I thought it was a gas cloud. Whoa! That is clockwise. That is also clockwise. That one's gigantic though, oh my goodness. Uh, oh! Oh, that one was counterclockwise, but it disappeared. And then the rest of these ones, this one, this one. friend you are you are resistant towards electricity right do you mind if I like touch you oh oh no I thought that wasn't right are we gonna be okay coming out here what do I- Okay, I know I have to do something with the jellyfish, but what? The jellyfish is right here already. Oh, there. Hold on. Can I- Do I just follow you down? Is that what we do? Oh god. It seems like it's kind of going down right now. Am I even allowed to bring my ship with me? I don't know. Hey there, friend. Oh, it goes up and down. We're here. Oh god, not again. Whoa! Are we really doing the right thing here? There was a jellyfish. What do I do with you, mister? Can I... Push you down with me? <laughs> Is that... N I don't think that's right. I don't think so. 
But what do we do then? Hold on. Hold on. Ocean depths. The ocean is surprisingly calm beneath the current. Some sort of electrical field surrounds the planet's core. Yes, and we already learned from Feldspar that what we need is the jellyfish. Frozen jellyfish. Wait, Feldspar decided to venture into the jellyfish's interior cavity to see if it tasted any better on the inside. <gasps> Do I have to walk outside and go into the jellyfish? Oh, no way. No way. Oh. I might have to wait a little bit here because it's gone down already. Do I have to find one that's not going down first or... It sank in. Oh, where are the other jellyfish? <gasps> Did they all leave? Come back, friend. Yes, yes. Oh, this is so scary, just looking at it. Just like what we did at Brittle Hall. Oh! Yikes. Are we even allowed to touch this? Is that... Oh! We've done it! Now all we do is wait until it goes down? How do we know that's happened though? I have no clue. I guess we'll just have to pay attention to... <sighs> I mean, we can hardly look at what's outside here. Are we in yet? The ship is getting further and further away. I think that's a sign that we're sinking. Do I go down now? We're still sinking. I'm hoping there is going to be a very big visual indicator that we've broken into the core. We're getting close. Oh. We're still going down. <gasps> We've done it! Oh! What's here? <gasps> this feeling of awe just never goes away. What have we discovered today? Oh! Oh, this is one of the modules, right? Oh! It changed the gravity for me. Ash Twin, Projection Stone. I have exciting news, Privet. The Ash Twin project is almost prepared to receive the probe data from the Orbital Probe Cannon. Rami is adding some finishing touches here, but she'll be finished soon. Are you in the orbital cannon well? We are! The probe tracking module is ready to record each launch's flight trajectory and will automatically transmit all relevant data to you. On the other appendage, I'm now worried about this cannon's structural integrity and its crew's moral integrity. Because it broke? Once the probe determines the location of the Eye of the Universe, I'll send an alert directly to you and Rami. Does that ever happen though? I don't think we know. 
Launch module. Imagine, Brivet. The probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the Eye of the Universe. You'll be the first to see them. I am honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once anyway, so who minds if it compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural integrity slightly? Oh! Oh, so it's okay that it broke. I would mind, Mallow. I would mind, because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. It's not, though. It's perfectly intact here, right? It's just that it's underwater, that's all. Hey. Hey. Ash Twin. This again. This again. Not quite sure what it wants exactly. Launch module. Oh, we've seen this. Ah, this is the one with the crack. Is that the control module? Last time we were here, I confused this one with the one that we visited. I thought they were the same one, but this one has a crack, and the one that we went to didn't. Okay. Um, I see that there is a thing here again. Is it the same stuff as last time? Do you want to come here? Oh. I'm not sure if there's supposed to be like... Like, are we supposed to find accompanying text somewhere? Or how do we... Oh. Displaying the coordinates for the Eye of the Universe. Retrieving stored coordinates from Ash Twin. Oh, it's because this is like... I keep thinking it's upside down, but this is the right way for this information. It's just that they make use of displaying information in two different ways, on two different surfaces. Okay. So those were the coordinates? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Ah, yeah, there's writing here. No? Are you not gonna show me anything? Oh god, wait. It's just showing me a planet right now. Hmm. Maybe I'll try moving it here? This one's showing something. Visualizing current trajectory of probe 9375. Receiving data from probe 9375. Oh, I think we looked at it in the wrong chronological order again. This is the module saying, hey, we found the information. Come look at it. And then this one is... This is just Giant's Deep, right? But I'm not getting any additional writing out of it. Or, oh, I had to wait. Retrieving previous launch data from Ash Twin. Total number of probes launched, 9375. Deep space anomaly matching all known criteria for the Eye of the Universe found by probe 9354. Oh my god, this cannon launched a heck ton of probes. And then here... 
How do we read this, though? It's a bit of a problem, right? Retrieving stored coordinates from Ash Twin. Are we supposed to be able to understand that right now, or...? Mm. Mm. Yeah... It's in no my writing, and I can't translate it with my... Translator. I think this means we have to go to Ash Twin. Eventually? Is there anything else here? If not, maybe it's my time to go. But what about the statue? This guy's eyes aren't open. Can we do anything about that? No, I think this is it. This is it. How do I... Can we actually leave here though? I wonder. Like, I'm trying to look around to make sure we didn't miss anything, and I don't think we did. But are we even allowed to leave here? Because we'd have to wait for a jellyfish again, right? It might be a little bit difficult. I kind of just want to look at the log on my ship, that's all. Oh. You would think it's really... Scary down here, but unexpectedly, it's quite calm. Aside from the whole electrical current stuff, of course. Oh, there's one. Can I get to you? I gotta go from the bottom, right? Is there anything else in the core? I don't think so. It was just that gigantic root. I think it would have been lit up if there's anything else here, but it's really dark. We can probably go now. Oh, my ship is so far away now. Are we even going to be able to get back before the time loop ends? I don't know. Wait, it's actually getting further and further away. <laughs> ah! Oh, we're up here. Ship. I think my ship must have gotten swept away by the currents. <sighs> oh, you know what's really weird? For a water-based planet, there's no creatures or anything here. But in Dark Bramble, there were the anglerfish. If you didn't know to begin with, you probably would have thought that the one with the fish would be giant steep, right? But no, it's not. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to get picked up into the orbit. Hold on. I just want to get to my ship. That's all. Ship. Hang tight. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. Hold on. Oh, the really, really big cyclones here, too. I wonder if we have time to look at that. Are we good? Oh! We made it back alive! Would you look at that? Mmm, and we finished looking at it, right? Probe tracking module. The Orbital Probe Cannon has launched thousands of probes. The 9,354th probe, located a deep space anomaly, matching all known criteria for the eye of the universe. 
The probe tracking module automatically records each probe's trajectory and transmits the data to the Ash Twin project. I found no my coordinates marking the location of the eye of the universe. This is the data from the Ash Twin project, so do I even need to go look at that anymore? <laughs> I mean, I will, but I'm just wondering, do I need to? Hmm. I passed through the electric barrier and reached the coral forest at the planet's core. And there's nothing else here. Oh. Awesome, okay. Uh... Why don't we actually go find Garo now? Do you think that's possible? Oh! We've already been floating around here. And Gabro's right here. Gabro! Have you found anything in the past bit? I've learned so many new things that I want to share with you! Hey, Time Pal! Nice weather we're having. Huh? Wait, have I used that one before? <laughs> I found something! Nice, nice. What you got for me? I found what happened to the orbital probe cannon. Whoa, that's the cannon breaking apart at the start of each time loop? For real? Did you figure out why? Too much power. It's kind of scary how much that sounds like something Slate or Feldspar would do. I'm pretty surprised I know my belt something that actually broke. Come to think of it though, broke might be the wrong word. Because it looks like the orbital probe cannon is still firing successfully at the beginning of each time loop. Oh, wait. At the beginning of each time loop, that's really the only time when the probe fires, right? So when it says that the 9,000 whatever probe found the coordinates, does that mean that we've gone through 9,000 time loops? As opposed to launching 9,000 loops within one time loop. Judging by how the Nomai are the ones giving us this time loop power here, I'm guessing they mean 9,000 time loops. Oh my god. Is that it? Oh, that's all I can talk to you about? Really? How do you stay so calm in the face of repeated impending death? Deep breaths. No, seriously, I meditate. Want me to teach you? It'll be the next loop before you know it. Uh, sure, why not? Okay, close your eyes. Oh, you're killing me. <laughs> well, that's okay. We were finished up here anyway. For that particular bit. We spent some time in there. That statue didn't open its eyes, though. It was closed. Do I actually know how to meditate now? Hold on. Oh, okay, cool. It's actually just in the menu here, and I guess whenever we want to end the loop, then we can just press that instead of waiting it out. That's a cool time saver. All right. Oh, I feel like we're making some great strides in learning the secrets of the universe today. Since we're already on Giant Steep, do we want to go back and explore that some more? We should get back to the orbital probe cannon sometime too. Yeah, these two modules here. Mm, oh, yeah, yeah, the shuttle. I'll save that for another loop. For Giant Steep, why don't we go back to Statue Island? We never actually explored that. All we saw was there was some gravity shard stuff, and then I kind of forgot my suit and I died right away. <laughs> so I feel like there's definitely value in us checking this out again. What do you know? It happens to be right above us. Oh, is that the probe? It seems to go to a different place every time, huh? Even if we do finish exploring Statue Island though, I feel like there's a lot of things in Giant Steep we haven't looked at yet. That giant cyclone and the storm. Is there thunder there or uh, lightning? Oh, 
Oh, but last time we did learn that we don't really have to climb the stuff at Statue Island. All we gotta do is bring our ship over there and land, right? So if I can do that this time, that would be fantastic. If it weren't for the fact that that wasn't where Statue Island is. <laughs> Oh, look at that storm. Here we go. Why don't we just land here? Perfect. Let's get going. Oh, gravity is 2.0 right now. Holy God. I guess the one thing that we have to be careful about is the gravity. These things? Ah! What about my ship? These things are... Stabilizers of sorts. Yeah, we're fine. The ship is still here because of the high gravity. I see the door, but let's look around a little bit first. Again? Whoa, this happens a little bit more frequently than I thought it would. Oh no. I guess that's okay. I've committed to staying here this time. <laughs> oh, but it comes back down anyway. In the water? <laughs> Lammy. They're going to test the memory statues tonight. Phlox says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. But, what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? Phlox specifically told us not to do that. I really want to see the test too, Lamy. But that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Phlox will let us see a later test. Oh, memory statue. Is that the thing responsible for us getting the loops? Oh, frick. Can we find anything else around here? Oh, I can't even get out of this... Oh my gosh, I can't even get out of this room. That's how high the um, gravity is. And my ship seems like it's in the water now, so that's... Wonderful. Um, there's less here than I thought. I think it's because they want me to go that way. Oh, shoot! Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. That's okay. We can just fly straight back. Oh, we got a new entry for Statue Workshop now. I found a sign for Statue Workshop. Some know my children debated bypassing the Statue Workshop's door and sneaking inside via an alternate, more dangerous route. Well, it's gotta be the route on the side, right? The one that requires the rock climbing? Oh, I forgot to put an entry on the... Um, on Giant Steep just now, but I think we'll be okay. We vaguely know where it is. It's pretty much straight up above us. And there's that flash of light again. Actually, it might be a good idea for me to, um, lock on to that. Oh, but now we got the, the orbital pro cannon again. We have to go back sometime, too. Ooh. Storms are raging. So here. Can we really not just fly around on the... Um... Hmm... Oh, that route actually leads to the same place. Right? Even if we did all the rock climbing, it seems like we wouldn't get anywhere. Oh... Okay... 
Yeah, this is exactly where we were. Earlier. What gives? Oh! There goes the island. Where am I? It's not gonna crash onto me, is it? There it is. We must be missing something because the entrance to the statue workshop has to be on the island, doesn't it? Um, I guess I'll try parking again. Hold on. Are we okay? This is a spot for parking my ship, yeah? Last time we were here, we tried climbing the wall, and then when the um, island got thrown into space, we died. And there is really no other way for me to get in here. Statue workshop, that's right. That means they've been making a lot of these statues so that their own kind can have the loop as well. I wonder how many they made in total. I can try climbing it, but please don't change the gravity while I'm doing this, okay? I'm begging you. Oh god. But no, but look at this. It's the same place. It's the same place, and we can look beneath us. That's where we're trying to go. Oh. Our ship lock updated. Would that be a good thing? Why don't I keep my scout in there and I'll try and see if we can find a way inside. How about that? Is there a way inside? Not from this end, I don't feel like. But who really knows, I guess. We can't see too much with this angle here. Mm. Should I go back to my ship so that I can read the log? Oh, if I fall down here though, I feel like I'll die. Would the water be okay? Maybe? Uh, let's not take the chances. Let's just go back the way we came from. There's gotta be a hidden path somewhere. On this level though? Maybe not. But somewhere on the side would probably be a good bet! Could it be underwater? I feel like it shouldn't be because this island can go all the way into space. That's scary. What do we get here? I can see into a large cave from one of the ruins on top of the island. The bottom of the cave is filled with water. Oh! From beneath us! Okay! How about we try going in with our ship then? In that case, I don't think we have to risk it by just going in with our suit. If we go down here... Oh, beautiful! Oh, I didn't even see this. Beautiful. Well, that was simple. We did it. But we have to get around over there. Oh, they were carving them out. I thought they were carving a little one, but that's a dead person. <laughs> hey, this one has opened eyes. Flocks, Yarrow, 
Would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue? When pairing, the statue will choose whoever is in closest proximity. See how its eyes have opened? That tells us the statue has paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in the star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin project. This is extraordinary sculpting work, Phlox. He has outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test my memory storage prototype. Each statue will send a single Nomai's memories to his or her own storage unit within the Ash Twin. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which will be able to send these stored memories back to the corresponding Nomai. Mmm, so on some level, it's like they expect to die. Because they probably know that the universe is ending soon. And so they're making countermeasures to make sure they survive. Yeah, this is the activation, activation of the statue. This is what we see when we die. And then we're reborn again. This is a Nomai when they're alive. Their memories get sent to the statue. Oh my god. Whoa, we're learning some real history here. Is the ground stable here? Ash Twin Projection Stone. I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin project flocks. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. The statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Does that mean the project succeeded when we were walking out of the museum? Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds as a safety measure, however, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. Oh no. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought about that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. Oh, but that's exactly what happened, isn't it? We should be okay in here though, because it's a small cave, but better be safe than sorry, I guess. There's not much oxygen here though, is there? No trees. Should be careful about that point. Again! Again! It's a good thing my ship doesn't rust from the water or anything. <laughs> or in fact, any of these things that we're looking at right now. No metals. Mainly rock. That's good. We good? Are these randomized? I get the feeling they are. At least some of them. Okay, we've seen this multiple times. Does this mean it's been activated? There's three that are lit up. One is me. One is Gabro. And then, does that mean that's somebody else? Because we saw this- Oh, shit! My god. Scared me. Because we saw right here that one of the statues has an eye open already. So that's gotta mean that somebody else around here is also looping, right? I think that's what it means? This one's open. Would that be a Harthian though? Because we've pretty much met all the Harthians already. Um, just put it down. Somewhere. 
There's more there. How do I... I think the gravity is a little bit too high for me to go over there directly. Could I... Can you drop this? No? Okay, keep holding on to it then. <laughs> Could I possibly... <laughs> it's a little bit rough. Like, very rough. Oh! No. Whoa. Whoa, my ship is actually, like, making noise and stuff. I've never had that happen before. That's not normal. Hold on. I gotta go back here. My ship blew up! <gasps> Can I fix this? Oh, I think it's broken. Look, there's not even like... It's just floating around. But can I get up here by myself though? Without a ship? Oh, of course I can't. Of course I can't. Mmm... We do have one more option. We can wait for the gravity. Because obviously we're not gonna leave here until I check this out. So maybe I'll just wait for the gravity right now. Oh my god! My poor ship! I've never had that happen before. I gotta take better care of my things. And you know what else I gotta take better care of? Fuel. I'm not gonna have unlimited fuel here. Let's be mindful about that point too. And this just goes straight outside. I'm really hoping for another gravity throw. Will it happen? Not sure how much time we have left, but in the time that we do, one better happen. This so-called Ash Twin project. I feel like right now, we don't have a very good understanding of what it really is just yet, do we? It's something related to looking for the eye of the universe. But other than that, I'm not really too sure on all the specifics. But now we know, if we go there, we might be able to find a mask? Here we go. I know that hurt a little bit, but we're fine. Yes, thank you. I'm curious, is sending a being's memories back in time the same as sending the being itself back in time? As an example, if we were to send my memories back in time, is that the same as sending me back in time? Not my physical body, but my essence. I imagine there are two different actions. Wouldn't both actions be effectively the same? Suppose that time was being rewritten. I believe this is different than receiving memories from what is effectively the future. That is true, because every single time we go back, we're taking different actions, leading to different futures. But isn't the end result identical in either case? Hmm... Yeah, that is, um... That's a good question, I wonder. Time being rewritten. But it's because we have this concept of time being rewritten 
That's why the Nomai were able to find the Eye of the Universe, right? Because the 9,000th whatever probe was the one that found the coordinates. Yeah, I don't think there's much else for us to do here because we are without our ship and there's really not too much else I can do without it. Should I just meditate this time then? That is nice and convenient. And let's very quickly check out the log before we end off here. Oh, there's a quantum moon again. As always. Just to make sure that we've seen everything on Statue Island. It's linking back to the Ash Twin project. No, my statues were designed to pair with a single user, record their memories, and send those memories to a storage unit within the Ash Twin project. Each storage unit inside the Ash Twin project was equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which could then send those stored memories back to the corresponding user. The statues were designed to only activate once the Ash Twin project succeeded, or in the event that it failed. But that's like every single possibility possible. <laughs> the Nomai sealed something away inside the core of Ash Twin. Every memory recorded by a Nomai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ash Twin. Is that the thing they sealed away though? Not necessarily, I would say. The mystery thickens. 